Hey guys, James here with PM Hobbycraft. Uh, we're kind of doing a, a different series here, um, um, bringing in some of our customers that have purchased some of our kits from us and just talking about the kits, the build, how it was. Uh, Ryan purchased one of the TLR 22.4s from us. Um, when did you do that? Not that long ago, eh? About a month ago? A month ago, yeah. A month, month and a half ago. Got it all put together and now we're kind of, you know, bringing in customers and talking about it and checking stuff out and he obviously has the older version of this car and this is the newer version of this car, this is the radio that he had with this car and the new radio of this car and uh, yeah, so pretty cool First of actually. all, wait a second, how long have you been doing this for? How long have you been RC for? Um, 90, 91-ish. Oh, wow. Before that I had little it's stuff, but started racing 90s when I started wow. working here. Wow. wow. Way back in the day. Wow. Okay. Way back. Cool. Very and cool. so, obviously, man, this this is this is like a huge radio. Wow, I don't know if you guys can see this. I it's, mean, it's amazing. It works today. It's yeah. It's sound, salt proof, bulletproof. Wow. Literally, I could use this day and still be good. Crazy. I've never seen one of these before, actually. No. No, it's that's uh, the first. Yeah. You can't get. Unfortunately, I tried to find a receiver for it, and they're yeah. Good luck. Crazy. Wow. Well, let's take a look at the old one first. Sure. They're very cool. They're, uh, you'd be surprised at how much similarities to the yeah. 90s to brand new. Come on, baby. Get out of there. Just tight. A little bit of persuasion. Yep. All right, we'll move this over here. Yeah. So maybe we'll yank the body off of that one as well. We'll just do a kind of inside here. Yeah, they're, like I said, they're very similar. They're not, uh, they're not dis-alike at all. Hmm. Oh, wow, well, well. Yeah, like there. I don't know if you guys can see that though, but it is actually fairly similar. The belts are identical. The drive system is identical. The difference is this has a clicker in it. This doesn't. Well, it's uh, they are very similar, aren't they? They are. The it's orientation, the servos down. difference. Yeah. Chassis is aluminum. This yeah. compared to carbon fiber for that for the world's edition. It uh, weight-wise, that's half the weight of the world's of this. Wow. I can't imagine back then running a weight like this on a car. True enough, yeah, it is a lot heavier for sure. Yeah. And what uh, what kind of equipment are you running on this one here? Looks like you get the hobby wing, the reds. Hobby wing reds with the yep. Grafner. New Grafner, Grafner radio, yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. It's a sweet radio, actually. Yep. It, uh, it, functionality very similar, but much yep. nicer touch screen. Full out does everything you could ever want it nice. to do. How did the build go? How was the experience of building this kit? Um, they came a long way in their manuals compared to this to this the yeah. the Definitions the way they show you how to do things way better for the new for the new car yeah. way way better Build went very simple depends on how picky you are. They say five to seven hours to build I think it took well, 16 hours to build it. Well, yep. It was I just picky right? You want things just so so yeah it takes forever for sure. to Oh for sure for sure have you, uh, when do you think you'll get this on the track? Can you be running at the indoor track or the outdoor track at Gears or what? I'm hoping to be at the indoor track in about two weeks. Okay, cool. But when you first started building this, did you get like any memories of when you were putting this car together? Was, you know, did everything just kind of flow when you were doing it? Was Most no definitely. problems? Yeah. Definitely. Um, the, the whole, like the whole drive system is identical. Other than mm -hmm. this has got gear diffs and that's got ball diffs. Yeah. Oh well. That's the, the oh. biggest, biggest difference between the two is you got gear diffs in this, much simpler, much more durable. Yeah, I saw a lot of increase in parts for this for where that broke, this shouldn't. Oh, cool. It's yeah. really cold here today. It's minus, what, 28, I think? Minus 28, minus 30. It's, yeah. yeah. With the wind chill, so, yeah. I'd rather be racing, you know? Just yeah, it would be <laughs> nice, yeah. We don't have, we don't have the luxuries of uh, nice weather uh, year round, so, yeah, it kind of sucks for us, but. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna be able to do this summer for sure. Oh, no yeah. doubt about it. And the indoor track, there's a 10 scale indoor track here that we go to, so that'll be fun. Um, yeah, can't yeah. wait. It'll be yep. amazing, it'll be great fun. I can't wait to try out a new car. I wanna see how it compares to the old one. Should be interesting, but they look, you're right, I mean, they look very similar. Um, no, I don't see, I mean, obviously there's differences, but there's you know, not a lot the of geometry different. is different, the shocks are bigger. Yeah. Uh, you know, so there's, there's quite a bit in that sense, I guess, but overall the same. Same, they, they same sit thing. the same height. When you get yeah. them all set up, like you get them sit, set to sit, they yeah. they sit the same height, the ground clearance is the same. Nice. This is a little longer, but it's, they're very, they're almost identical except for a new technology, right? This has got a, true enough, the, the nice billet aluminum chassis on it. Yeah, true enough. It, yeah, it uh, should be a blast. 
It should be. Other than, okay. yeah, they, they've done some definite upgrades from the old to the new. I can see the platform very, working very well. Like, I know people cool. went back to the World's Edition after their car after it. No I can, it's The World's Edition is an awesome car. Yeah, for sure. I want to see how they go compared one to the other. Yeah, for sure. Well, we'll be doing that pretty soon, right? Probably in another, uh, let's see, a couple more weeks. I'll be out there, you'll be out there. Exactly. Both cars will be out there and we'll be running, so that should be fun. It'd be amazing. Cool, man. Well, yeah, and uh, what about the body? Let's take a quick look at that real quick. That's kind of a unique body, eh? That's, yeah. that was my first attempt at liquid mask. It's hard. It's not easy to do. Yeah, it, it was looks fun. good, though. Yeah. It looks pretty amazing. I'm pretty yeah. impressed. No, Compared new good. to old, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a big difference, difference. In, in how the bodies are, but even just the shape of this body compared to that nowadays, you know, cab yep. forward being so, I mean, Probably. everything's cab forward nowadays, right? Everything's cab forward, you unfortunately. Know, and I like this the, one, yeah, this is more sleek and, and laid down, so big difference is there in the bodies. The bodies come a long way in RC, that's for sure, huge. Most as definitely. We all know. Aerodynamic but, plays uh, a huge role on how you drive your car. Yeah, big time, yeah. So no, that's awesome. Well, thanks, Ryan. Appreciate you coming in. Anytime. Yeah. Look forward to it. You bet. As always, guys, we enjoy you guys. Thanks for watching our videos. Thanks, subscribe. If you like the videos, any comments, please comment. We'll do our best to answer those as soon as we can. Yep. Uh, and check out our website as well at www.pmhobbycraft.ca. And yeah, have a great time. And uh, we appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with us. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.